Welcome everyone. I'm Deronda and I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous mushroom sauce today. It is one fabulous mushroom sauce. You're going to start off by kneading two cups of thinly sliced mushrooms. I buy my mushrooms whole. I rinse them under tap water very quickly, dry them on a paper towel and slice them thinly. I've got two tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of cornstarch, I have a tablespoon of shallots here. This is kind of between an onion and a garlic. It's not as strong as a garlic, but it's a little, um, gives you more flavor than an onion. And I love cooking with shallots, especially in sauces. I have one half teaspoon of kosher salt here. I have a half a teaspoon of dried parsley, and I have a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. I have one cup of chicken broth here. And here I have water because I'm going to mix the water with the cornstarch and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But first, let me take you over here to the stove top and we're gonna get the mushrooms and the butter sauteing. So follow me. All right, over here I've got my butter melting on medium heat and I'm adding the sliced mushrooms and I've lost one right here. And I'm adding the shallots in with the mushrooms. You wanna give them a nice coating and you're going to turn it to low and let it saute for about three minutes. All right, now as these saute, you can come back and give them a little stir every uh, once in a while, about every 30 seconds or so. Let's go back over here and I'll show you how to get the liquid together. Here's our two teaspoons of cornstarch and I'm going to add a little bit of water because you definitely do not want to add your cornstarch in with your liquid until you dissolve it in a little water because you'll have cornstarch floating at the top of your your mushroom sauce and that's definitely not what you want. All right, next you can add this into the chicken broth. So just go ahead and pour it right into your chicken broth and give it a nice little stir. Incorporate it well because you want that cornstarch to evenly distribute through the liquid. And then I'm going to add my salt, my pepper, and my dried parsley. And now we're going to add this mixture into our sauteed mushrooms and shallots. So back over here. If these mushrooms have been cooking on medium low heat for about three minutes and now it's time to add the chicken broth with our seasonings and our cornstarch. So pour it in all at once and you want to quickly start stirring it and now I'm turning my heat back up to medium high that way we can get a quick boil on it and once it starts boiling it'll start it'll start thickening with the cornstarch in it all right I'll come back here once we get it boiling and I'll tell you what the final results are going to be on this mushroom sauce oh it's going to be delicious I can already tell all right now our mushroom sauce has boiled for about one minute on medium high heat and look how delicious and fabulous that's going to be. I'm going to put it in a bowl, let it cool for a second, and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. So come over here. Here's our mushroom sauce. I left it in the pan because I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to heat it up after I cook some chicken and pour it over some chicken and serve it with rice. But looky there. That is one absolutely... Mm, We'll give it a try, but I can tell you it's going to be delicious. Mmm. 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 With the fresh mushrooms and that cook of shallots in there, and mmm. The chicken broth, and it's seasoned just perfectly. Mmm. It is one killer winning mushroom sauce. I highly recommend it. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Eat healthy, leave me a comment, thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time.